Hello, this is Mad Times here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a boot logo. Okay, and what we're going to need is Photoshop, and that's basically it. The first thing I want you to do is open Photoshop. And then just click on File, New, and we're going to make it 320 by 480 make sure it's on pixels and um, the resolution is maybe 72 and make sure it's on RGB color and then press OK and then now we're gonna just double click this make that round okay okay now first first thing we're gonna do is add create a background for it we're gonna go on gradient overlay click here and click here and click a color pick a color I'll pick red and make it go to a bit of a darker red and then here you can see what it looks like right now that's what it looks like and then now should add something extra to reflect this Okay, as you can see, you can see what we've done here. Created a nice background. Okay, now what we're going to do is add text to it. No, before that, let's add an image. And boot logos usually have an apple sign, so we'll just add a quick apple sign here. File, and we just click open. And then pick, check, and go get an image here. There's an Apple logo. Okay, you can get them from Internet Explorer. Well, it hasn't get got rid of our picture. Our pictures here. Mm, this one. So what you do is click on there on this tab and then drag it down, and as you can see, it comes into like a split screen. And then what you do here is you click on this button, and then you drag it onto that. And as you can see, it's on our. Wait actually before that uh, let's delete this layer first before that open it again and then what we're going to do is delete the background so click on this rubber tool and then click on magic eraser tool and then click on the background and as you can see it's gotten rid of it and then click there wait one minute And then now click on the tab and drag it down and drag it onto here. No, wait, my phone forgot to click on here. Now I'll drag it down. No. And then what you do is click on it and click Control T. This is to resize it to fit what you want. I think that's a reasonable size. And then center it. And then now we're going to add text. The font I'm, I'm going to be using, you can get it from a website called DaFont. I'll put the link in the description. So what I'm going to type in is, welcome to, and then I'll just separate the other part of the text that I'm going to write. So welcome to right now. Put it there. Click the text tool, and at the bottom, I'm going to write the rest of it. Mad. And then I'll put that one here. And I think that looks alright. I like it like that. Or we can add a little, if you want, you can add an effect to the text. Now to select both of them, click Shift and then click on the Welcome to. Now they are both selected. Oh wait, no. Just select one of them. Click the Effect School. And then click Stroke. Click on White Stroke. OK, OK. And as you can see, it creates a nice stroke effect. You do the same for the welcome to. And it creates a nice welcome to. Okay, so then you do. Now what we're going to do is save it. 
save as and where you want to save it I'll save it to my desktop and save it as a PNG file this is very important if you don't save it as a PNG file you won't be able to put it on your iPod or iPhone and then I'll la name it um, tutorial and then click save click OK none and now this is the end of our tutorial please comment rate and subscribe thank you for watching